What's going on, everybody? Welcome to Cullen's Music Corner. I'm Cullen the Great. Today we are diving into episode number three of March Music Month. That's right. Today, instead of talking about numbers and song titles and colors and song titles and all sorts of crazy song titles, we're going to be talking about a song that makes you feel. A song that makes you feel like it's summertime. Woo! This is one of those things where it's just like, whatever song that you listen to excessively during the summertime is gonna be a song that whenever you hear it, all you think about are sun and palm trees and beaches and all sorts of stuff. And when I think of that, I think of Miss Katy Perry's California Girls. Woo wee! Who doesn't love us some California girls? You know what I'm saying? But. This song is like an all-time just Katy Perry classic. You can't you can't get much better than this when it comes to Katy Perry. Um, this song is also, like I mentioned earlier, a very nostalgic song for me. Whenever I hear it, it brings me back to a very specific summer, a very specific feeling, driving in a very specific car down a very specific road. It's just, it's so crazy, one, that music can do that to you, but two, allows you to feel the same feelings again, like 20 years down the road. Damn. Like I said, this song is something that brings me back. Uh, I remember my babysitter, Sierra, used to take me and my sister, Taylor, before we could drive. It is the summertime. Our parents are working. Um, so our babysitter would sit there, just kind of hang out with us. And she'd take us to the movies, take us to go get food, bowling, all sorts of fun summer stuff. And any time we would get in the car, it was right as California Girls came out. She did not have an aux or a stereo system. It was before Bluetooth was even a thing. Isn't that crazy, y'all? Like, what? The only song that would ever be playing every time we got in her car was California Girls. And little interesting fact about Colin the Great here. Growing up, I had the fattest crush on Katy Perry. I was obsessed. And I mean... I went back and watched this California Girls music video, and I can see why little Kyle was obsessed with Miss Katy Perry, because damn, damn. It's just so crazy to me to see how much Katy Perry has grown since the California Girl days, um, the kind of music she makes now as opposed to what she used to make, and then, of course, everything that she has been through uh, in both her personal life and her professional life since then, the amount of growth that she has done since California Girls is astronomical. So proud of Katie because that's definitely not an easy thing to do, especially when the entire world is watching your every move. Rat row. This song is just a fun song to listen to. Um, it's very, very risque in the sense that the lyrics are all uh, innuendos, um, kind of referring to something else. But uh, Snoop Doggy Dog does an absolute incredible job in this song. I think his verse is really well. Him and Katy Perry sound good together. Uh, Snoop Dogg is one of those artists where he can literally work with just about anybody and it's going to sound good and it's going to be a hit because it is Snoop Doggy Dogg. Um, and actually reading over the lyrics, I didn't know that she shouted out Snoop Dogg in this song, but she's like the part where she's like, Driving in my Jeep, Snoop Doggy Dog on the stereo. Oh, oh. I didn't know she said Snoop Doggy Dog on the stereo. I'm not going to lie to you. I was just blinded by her beauty and her incredible singing to even listen to the lyrics. Um, <clears throat> but California Girls is from her Teenage Dream album, which the entire album alone was something that kind of put Katy Perry on the map. Uh, but it is very different music than what she makes now, so I can see why it would be something that she's trying to shy away from, especially having a family now, uh, Orlando Bloom, and of course her daughter, Daisy Bloom. How cute of a name is that? Let's just be real, y'all. Come on now. You don't, gotta, you don't gotta front with me. Yeah, summertime, California girls, Katy Perry. It all kind of goes hand in hand together. But go ahead and let me know down in the comment section below what summertime song you guys were jamming to and what song kind of makes you feel like it's summer, even when it's 
blistering cold outside because sometimes you gotta feel warm on the inside before it gets warm on the outside. That just about wraps up episode number three of the Music March Month. March Music Month? Music Month of March? The month of March's music? That just about wraps up episode number three of March Music Month. Um, Thank you guys so much for stopping by and checking out my videos. I hope you like this series so far. If you do, let me know down in the comment section below, or you can just show me some love by hitting that like button, hitting that subscribe button, and turning them notifications on. While you're at it, you might as well follow me on all of my social medias. You can find me on Twitter and Instagram under at CullenTheGreat underscore. You can find me on Facebook under CullenTheGreat. And of course, me and all my dope ass music on your favorite streaming service under Colin the Great. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. And until next time, peace out.